Hello everybody, Bradley Sward here, Assistant Professor of Computer Information Systems at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And today we're going to take a look at the binary basics. So we're going to be looking at how binary numbers are represented, and then we're going to take a quick look also at the addition and subtraction of binary numbers. When we work in our normal base 10 decimal number system that we've been using our whole lives, we have digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But now you can see we're using binary numbers, and binary is defined as relating to, composed of, or involving two things, according to the dictionary, two things. So in this case, a binary number, a digit of binary, is only represented with one of two possible values, a 0 or a 1. So another thing we do, no matter what the base system, whether it's base 2, base 10, base 16, base 8, base pi, base e, base anything, is that we read the numbers left to right and in such a way that the most significant bit or the most significant digit is to the left hand side and the least significant bit or least significant digit is on the right hand side. Think of every number you've ever looked at. You know, a 5 is a 5, but that 5 might mean 500 if it's the third digit from the right, or so forth and so on. So in contrast, when we're talking about the bits themselves, like what is bit 0? What is bit 9? What is bit 15? That reads right to left, as the chart shows you here at the bottom of the slide. So the least significant bit will always be on the right-hand side, and it will always be bit 0. And the most significant bit will always be on the left-hand side, and in this case it's bit 15, but in a lot of cases if we're dealing with 8-bit numbers or 16 or 32, the exact number of the most significant bit will be different. So the main difference between decimal number system and binary number system is the base power in which we're determining each bit of the number. So in a base 10 system, like 512, the 2 in the 512 is the 1's bit, the 1 in, is the tens bit, and the 5 is the 500's bit, and that's how you get 500 plus 10 plus 2, 512. And it's the same here in binary, as you can see. Each bit is represented by a power of 2 instead, so I'm going to say 2 to the 0th power is the least significant bit, which is 2 to the 0th power is 1, 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the square, 2 cubed, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, and everything is a power of 2 from there on in. So uh, it's not here listed, but, you know, the next, I think the next graph will show you that. But, you know, it's like the 1's bit, the 2's bit, the 4's bit, the 8th, 16, 32, 64, 128, so forth and so on. Each bit is represented in that manner. So right here, if I'm looking at 1111, basically an 8-bit number with all bits set, what am I looking at? And we'll see that that actually depends on what am I looking at when I'm talking signed versus unsigned numbers. But we're gonna, if we were starting off with an unsigned number, I mean, it would be just be 2 plus, or 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128. So in this case, as an unsigned number, this would be positive 255. And as we'll show in a future lecture as well, if this was a negative number, which I can tell if this was an assigned number, this would be negative because the first most significant bit is a 1, then actually this is a negative 1. So it all depends on the context in which we're trying to read the number in front of us. Binary addition is pretty much exactly the same as our decimal counterpart, but it's pretty much much easier. There's no real chart to memorize. There's only four different ways that we can add the numbers together on a bit-by-bit -bit basis. So looking at the left hand side of the slide, like a 0 plus a 0 of course is 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1, and then 0 plus 1 is also 1, exactly like normal math. Just gets a little tricky that 1 plus 1, like we're used to being 2, and it is 2, it's just in binary 2 is 1, 0, so that stupid joke a few slides back makes a little more sense, right, if it didn't already do that. So taking a look over here on the right hand side, like taking the number 4, and that's the, the binary representation of 4, and that's the binary representation of 7. So if I add 4 plus 7 in any base system, the value that I get out of this better be 11, or else my math, there's no use to this math because it's incorrect, at least in this case. And all you need is one counterexample to prove that your mathematics is wrong. So binary 4 plus binary 7. So digit for digit, you know, 0 plus 1 is a 1 on the digit 0. 0 plus 1 is a 1 on digit 1. 1 plus 1 is 10. 
So just like the math we do when we're dealing, you know, fourth grade math, the zero goes down, but the one carries over. And then continuing on, one plus zero plus zero is a one. And then everything else gets, ends up being a zero. So the only complicated part would be what happens when you have a carry plus you have a one and a one. So one plus one plus one. And that's pretty simple too, because one plus one plus one is three, which is one one in binary. So the one would go down and then the one would also carry. And this will pretty much apply in everything that we do when we do a binary addition. Okay, so now is your first your turn. So I'd like you to turn 14 plus 44 into 58 using nothing but binary. And if you don't already know how to do that in, you know, in any form, shape, or form, then you can just watch along after this slide and just get a feel for what's happening because there will be future videos that show you how to do this in both signed and unsigned formats. Here is the solution for 14 plus 44 equals 58. So 14 in binary is 1110. Don't mind the extra leading zeros, just trying to keep everything 8-bit here. So 44 turns into 101100. So again, future videos. So then 14 plus 44, if you do this on a bitwise manner, you better get 58 out of the deal, because base 10, base 2, it doesn't matter, it's the same mathematics. So bit 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, then 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 10, which is 0 with a 1 carry, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, which is 1, 1, so 1 goes down and 1 carries over again, 1 plus 0 plus 0 gets me 1, 0 plus 1 gets me 1, and then zeros the rest of the way. And again, now that I, you know, now that I, I have an understanding of how to convert that binary into decimal, that is 58, that is the correct answer. If I can do binary addition, I certainly can also do binary subtraction, but I just want it to be known that this is going to be covered in a future video, uh, basically next week in the lecture series, week three, where we're talking about two's complement math and how to turn a negative number positive or a positive number negative. Because in actuality, when we subtract numbers in binary, at least on the CPU, you know, A minus B, we actually turn that B into a negative B and we add the two together. So it's, we do a, we're still doing an addition when we're doing a subtraction. So again, a future video, but I just wanted you guys to know that where that is in the uh, curriculum down the line. So that covers everything I wanted to look at in this binary basics video. So of course, never hold on to your questions. Email me, come into my office, find a way to get a hold of me if you have any questions about this or any other video. And moving forward, now we're going to take a look at converting between binary and decimal numbers in the next, the next PowerPoint presentations, and then we'll be taking a look into hexadecimal numbers as well. So thanks for viewing, and we'll see you next time.